Hey guys, we have peppers on my Orange Bites peppers plant. And look, they're even falling off of the vine. So we need to use these today. So I'm going to make a chili, chili cheese steak, vegan style. So let's get these peppers in here. Let's just pick some of these low ones. And use these for our chili cheese steaks. Mmm, those look good. So let's use these up and make a chili cheese steak. Hey guys, Nika coming at you today with another vegan recipe. I'm in the mood for chili cheese steak. So that's what we're gonna make today. So what you're gonna need for the for this recipe, you're gonna need a medium onion and about five small peppers. I got these out of my garden, they're Orange Bites peppers. But you can use green pepper, uh, green bell pepper, or you can use maybe a red or an orange or make a combination of them and make your recipe colorful. You're gonna need some some kind of meat substitute. I'm using Seishan. This is from Sweet Earth, and it's a Chipotle style, it's sliced. You're also gonna need three tablespoons of olive oil. You need about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a quarter cup of water, and I'm gonna be using this vegetable bouillon so you're gonna need a cube of that you're gonna need a cup of milk this is soy milk you need a tablespoon of paprika two tablespoons of cornstarch a clove of garlic you need um, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder you need a lemon wedge and then some butter. I just put some butter in here. This is to um, brown the hot dog buns. And I'm using hot dog buns. You can get fancy and get some fancy buns, but I'm just gonna use regular hot dog buns for this recipe. Okay guys, so let's put this pan on the heat. And let's start slicing while that's warming up. So this is super easy. You just wanna make slices because we're gonna break these slices up. As they cook, they'll become limp. And that one's a little thick. I'm not gonna to get too concerned about that. My son used to say he liked odd shaped pieces. We're gonna slice these peppers up. Super easy, we wanna slice them. We wanna get the seeds out. There's a little piece in there that we want to get out. See, I'm just going to take that white out of there. And we're just going to slice them down. Just like that. And break them up a little bit. Put them in here. And then while that pan's warming up, that's what we're going to do. See that little white piece in there? We want to take that out. I take that out. That doesn't cook very well. Just slice them up. Okay, guys, so now we're just going to add some of this oil in there. Okay guys, let's add an onion in there just to see if that grease is hot yet. Looks like it's bubbling a little bit. Okay, it looks like it's hot enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down these onions just like this and put those onions in there. I like to break them down. Time to break them in a half. It makes them more manageable. And 
and then we're gonna add the rest of these bell peppers in here and just saute those really good until they're warm. Saute them. It'll probably take about five or ten minutes. Okay, guys, this is starting to cook down really good. We want to get these super limp. Okay, guys, so while that's cooking, let's make the cheese sauce. For the cheese sauce, we're just going to add all the ingredients in the blender. This is a ninja that I have, so we're just going to put a cup of milk. Got some coconut milk. We're going to put a teaspoon of paprika in there. We're going to put two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. We're going to put a clove of garlic in here. We're going to add a, tea, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to add the Dijon mustard in there. About a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We're going to squeeze a little bit of this lemon in there. Just take a lemon wedge. And squeeze in there. I think that's it. And then we're just going to put this on top. Just like that. I'm going to stir those onions and bell and peppers. So these are cooking really nice. I want to get them just a little limper. It's going to be super limp. So we're going to put the ninja on there and blend these up. Okay, guys, that's super easy. Okay, let's go back to our peppers. Okay, guys, that's how you want to get these. You want them to start browning. See how that's browning? Some of these pieces are browning really good. And you want to get them super limp. Mm, that's looking good. Look how it's browning on the edges there. Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is cooked enough. So we're just going to put it in this bowl. We're going to take this, these onions and peppers and stick them in this bowl. And now we're going to cook the meat. So let's take this meat out of the package. This is what it looks like the Seishan meat, and we're just going to cut the package and put it in there. This one has a chipotle sauce in it. Okay guys, so that's starting to heat up really good. So we want to get a little juice in here. So I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna add a half of this. Nor comes out with a really good vegetable bouillon. And so that's what we're gonna be using today. A half of this vegetable bouillon cube in there. And we're gonna add about a quarter cup of water. And we're going to start cooking that. And let's get that cube. You want to cook it until that cube breaks up a little bit. So we'll just keep stirring this. Okay, guys, so this is starting to break up. See how that little bouillon cube is breaking up? That will give it a really good flavor. Break that up a little bit. Stir it into the meat. 
and we want to get this moisture into the meat. It'll give it a savory flavor. And let's let that cook a little bit. Okay guys, this is looking really good. Let's remove it from the heat. And now we're gonna make the cheese sauce. Okay guys, so let's make the cheese sauce now. Basically all we have to do is pour our blended ingredients in here and let it thicken. So let's just keep stirring this until it thickens. Okay guys, so this is thickened and you wanna continually stir this with a whisk just so that it um, doesn't get lumpy or this looks perfect. So let's take this off the heat and pour it into this bowl. Yes. Okay guys, so now we have our vegan cheese sauce. We have our bell pepper and we have our Seishan meat. So now we're ready to assemble these sandwiches. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this pan and we're gonna toast our bread, our hot dog buns. You're gonna need butter for the buns. You're also gonna need some, I'm using hot dog buns, but you can use fancy um, hoagie buns if you'd like. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna take a couple of these buns and we are going to assemble our sandwich, but the first thing we're gonna do is toast our buns. <laughs> so toast to your buns, and we're gonna toast them on the inside and the outside. And we're gonna toast these. Won't take very long. That should be good enough. Now we're just gonna take and put the ingredients on there. Them on the bottom, take a little of this meat and put on the top, put some more on here. Mm, doesn't that look delicious? Yes. And then we're just going to take a little bit of this cheese sauce and pour on there. Mm, that looks good. Mm, doesn't that look delicious? Okay guys, time for the taste test. Let's taste this. Mmm, mm, that's good. Okay guys, I'll put the recipe in the description box below. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.